Well, folks, stop scratching your balls right now. Do it some other time because we got some important stuff to talk about. The Sony ponies doing helicopters with their woolies. The Xbox busting their heads against the wall. And, and we got everybody's just going off right now. Let me show you guys the streets real quick, okay? Xbox making the worst mistake. We got Xbox is dead. And I'm crying. Xbox fanboy roasting PlayStation fanboy. Xbox has a major problem. And, and I'm sure, right? Like, a lot of you are looking like this right now. You're like, yo, yo what, what's happening? Like, what's going on? Like, what, what? Is Phil Spencer, like, really shutting down Xbox? Is he changing his gender? right and a lot of you are probably like oh she oh she and i get it man guys we got the homie playstation cast or i should say Bruh. dreamcast guy leave a like and guys we better run this baby okay let's uh catch on the sweet sweet cries roll it uh usually i like to do a big dramatic intro but <laughs> honestly this just is something that's so monumental people are completely freaking out yeah. the biggest xbox exclusive of the last half decade is now coming to sony and people seem to be downright pissed because this isn't the only one. Apparently, Hi-Fi Rush is coming over, Sea of Thieves is coming over, pretty much everything that Microsoft is putting out is coming to PlayStation. And Damn. people are kind of wondering, okay, is Xbox dead? Let's discuss. Hi, I'm Dream yeah! Hi, I'm Dreamcast Guy here. Is that what you're gonna guy. Okay. If you enjoyed this if you video, enjoyed this be video, sure to give it a like, a like and subscribe, subscribe if you haven't already. Yeah. So I actually we have to go to a freaking wedding here in about seven minutes. So let's get directly into this. And if you <laughs> there is no way. Cut the cat, man. There is no way, bruh. Brother is going to a wedding and he's like, I got one last. I got one more in me. Let me go ahead. <laughs> and if you want to see me in a suit, go follow me on Instagram. I'm sure I'm going to post some stories. But here we go. Xbox Era says Microsoft is planning to release Starfield on the PlayStation 5. Microsoft has said they're planning to launch it on the PlayStation 5 after the release of the first Damn. expansion on Xbox and PC. And man, this situation got so out of hands that guys, like, we got the homie Paul Tessie, okay? Now, let me tell you one thing about Paul Tessie right man was doing helicopters with this willy but after this story he was like uh, 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 no stand by this if you're microsoft it shows you have no faith in xbox ecosystem goes counter to all game pass claims throws your fan base into chaos with no public commitment it's not just waving the white flag it's shooting them out with a t-shirt cannon i mean damn then we have the homie brian says this and let me tell you one thing about peter okay peter is an xbox fan and says that thing about it okay the rumored playstation 5 pro could be the best console to play starfield on at 60 fps meanwhile all we got for supporting xbox was at 30 fps mode all the series x and then we, we have the homie uh, brian out here right says that i never thought i would see the day uh, you compliment PlayStation Xbox truly lost. I mean, damn, bro. Like, I, and then we have the homie Sony Pony MBG says a certain Xbox users reading the headlines tonight. I mean, it is chalk right now. It is Joe Ora. I want to know what your stud muffin mind got to say on this. And of course, everybody has been sending this to me like crazy, saying Dreamcast guy is about to be upping that score. Now, famously, I did not like Starfield. I still just don't care for it. I don't think it's a particularly bad game. Yeah. It's just kind of forget. Yeah, it's not bad. It's the, it's the worst game. Gettable. I put a lot of hours into it, I beat it, I did some side quests, not my cup of tea, but I'm fascinated uh, by this uh. because it's showing the fact that the strategy Damn. is actually beginning to shift. Microsoft doesn't care about selling systems, they care about selling games. They That's true though, right? And, and I need to know what you think, and I gotta show you like a bunch of other stuff as well, guys. Definitely stick around for this one because everybody's uh, thinking that this is doomsday and I think this is very very good Or I should say it depends because we do not know the outcome, right? I'm 50 50 with this situation quite frankly I think this is gonna be good for the profits. I think this is gonna be good for Microsoft It genuinely will be bad for Xbox because if they actually proceed and if they actually do this There is no reason to buy Xbox You just need PlayStation if you're a console peasant if you're if you're a PC masterist you just need PC and that's it <laughs> Yes! In the future, PlayStation games are gonna be coming on PC and maybe this is like one way for the homie Phil, right? Now, let me tell you one thing about the homie Phil Spencer. He's uh, all about gaming for everybody. If he really wanna go this route, W Phil. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's what I gotta say because gaming for everyone. I mean, this is what what it means. But part of me, I, I'm just like dog. Like, so you suck as bought like Activision, right? You suck as also ended up buying Bethesda. Why? Why y'all spend that much money? 
if you wanted to put <laughs> if you wanted to put all the games on the damn PlayStation, why y'all spend that much money? I know like y'all Microsoft, right? We got all the money in the world. I get it though. You, you're it's like a schlong measuring contest, but the way I see it is that maybe Microsoft is trying to become a publisher that releases games. And this is why they were like, okay, let's let us buy Activision, let us buy like Bethesda, and then um, you know we're gonna bake the games, we're gonna cook the games, right? And then we're gonna like put it on the PlayStation, and we're <laughs> we're gonna be able to control PlayStation and the games that we make and everything. It can be. Listen, man, I'm not saying that this is a bad thing, but a lot of the Xbox fanboys are calling this like Doomsday right now. I don't think this is Doomsday. I think they are changing their strategy, and uh, we might have a good outcome or we might have a bad ending, though. It just depends. But let's see. selling subscriptions to Xbox. Xbox Game Pass. So here it is. It's bizarre because really all the major Xbox first party games that are getting played the most, Hi Fi Rush, Sea of Thieves, are now coming to rival platforms, which means a lot of people are straight up, I mean, actually downright mad. I know people want to comment on the. When he says mad, like, I, I, I've really seen people being mad like this. Bruh. I've already said everything I want to at this point. I'm much more concerned of a breach of trust and credibility with Xbox fans rather than any potential strategy shift. Damn. I'll let it play out first. So, this is actually a reference to the fact that Phil Spencer, on record multiple times, has been like, you know. Xbox is our priority. We want to have Xbox games come to Xbox. We don't we don't care about if it comes to other systems at some point. It's all about Xbox first. Or a lot of times it's made it sound like Phil Spencer has implied that the first party games are going to stay first party. They're going to stay on Xbox systems or Xbox PC. And now, clearly, Phil Spencer is 100% going back on that. People are actually quoting it. Game Pass is the best deal in gaming. Xbox Brand. doesn't need to compete with Brand. PlayStation because Phil said so. PC equals... Man, I don't get it. Like, listen, guys. Like, at the end of the day, it is just plastics, bro. PlayStation, Sony, they don't care whether you have a BBC, BWC, or like a little BC, okay? They don't care. <laughs> they really don't care. And it's one thing being a fan, and it's one thing like appreciating, loving a game, and, and it's perfectly fine being an Xbox fan, a PlayStation fan. At the end of the day, it's just gaming, bro. Like simple as that, bro. Like these things don't care whether you die, live, or, or don't play their games or play their games. They really don't care about you, bro. They seriously don't. The only people that care about you, perhaps, are your friends. Some people don't even have friends, so it's just kind of sad, so let me actually scratch that. The only people that truly care about you is your mom and dad, okay? And then it's the circle you keep. They don't care the day you pass away, bro. They're gonna be sad that they they lost the 60, the 70 dollars that they could have made off of your dumbass every single year with the PlayStation Online, with the Xbox Online, right? And as a brown man, I gotta say this, man, they need to make online free to play right now immediately. Like the video if you agree, man. Xbox 2024, rip Xbox because PlayStation could cut Hi-Fi Rush and Sea of Thieves. What happened to holding the line? Bruh. A lot of people seem to be basically saying that this is going to fundamentally be the death of xbox or the beginning Damn. of the death spiral people are talking about this and i'm not certain why people are just having so much animosity and, and, and like the craziest part here is this one guys let me actually get into this one clench your butt cheeks okay kiss your loved ones goodbye guys uh because i mean uh microsoft is a reply blah, yeah, that was something that you already know right but let me show you guys the replies <laughs> Guys, so the game was mid af we don't want this mid game and i remember when starfield was first coming out right Dog, if you actually thought about it, right? Like, if somebody asks you, like, hey, man, like, what's your rating on Starfield? Like, you, do you think it's a banger or do you think it's a banger? And if you were like, ah, ooh, ee, if you just took 0.1 millisecond to even thought about your response, seconds would be like, PlayStation fanboy, see, paid by PlayStation, uh, Sony Pony. I mean, damn, bro, like, even if you hesitated, like, suckers would, like, uh, flame you. But right now, obviously, the dust has settled, and Starfield is, it's not the worst game, but it's also not a 10 out of 10. I mean, come on, right? That's what we were saying initially, but apparently, <laughs> suckers gave it m mostly negative, so that's what it's getting. Damn, Xbox fan definitely, oh, gonna want PlayStation exclusive now. And a lot of people are also thinking maybe Phil Spencer is really doing this so they can get Spider-Man. <laughs> Spider-Man, the woke spider made right i love spider-man too but uh minus the woke bullcrap that they had it's a good game it's a good franchise i love it right 
minus the woke bull crap. It's a solid game. A lot of people are saying that maybe they're doing this because Phil wants to get Spider-Man. As somebody who plays on PlayStation, dog, like I don't care whether Spider-Man comes out on Xbox or not, bro. I don't care if it comes good. If it doesn't, I mean good. Like I don't care. But genuinely though, like if all the games comes out on all the platforms, I mean, damn, it's gonna be good for a consumer because at that point, you just wanna buy something that you like, right? At that point, you're just gonna buy something you prefer. City, perhaps it's because I've been a mainline PC gamer, but if people are going to buy Xbox games on Switch and PlayStation, what's the problem? I think we can agree the fact that the Xbox brand, as we currently look at it, is definitely dead. Now, that's a very dramatic word, but I mean that back in the day of the Xbox 360 or the original Xbox, having this controller meant something. You know what I mean? It meant you were playing Halo. It meant you were doing ranked matches yeah. in Gear of War. It meant you were playing it's games like crazy. Blue Dragon or Cameo. Like, there were RPGs, there was big games, there was stuff that came to the Xbox that you bought in Xbox to play. But if they're going to lose everything, if they're going to lose their Damn. biggest exclusives, if they're going to lose their money makers, clearly the tactic has changed to sell people the games yeah. where they're buying the games. Yeah. Now, just I, I think this is like going to be really good for profits for Microsoft, but I have to agree, man, in the public eye, it's looking bad right now. That I absolutely agree with. It's like, it's as though that Phil Spencer just waved the white flag and he's like, we cannot make games. We cannot shell Xbox. Therefore, we gotta put your games on all the platforms. It's looking bad for, uh, in the public eye, but I think Phil is, uh, tr just trying to, trying to make profits. So he's trying to make sure that Xbox can stay alive. Because if you remember, during this, uh, let me actually bring you back to the time when it all began, right? When they were trying to fight for the Activision deal, during the FTC and the court hearings, right? Phil Spencer did say that, and this is not a rumor, this is exactly what Phil Spencer said. If they cannot make the money, if Xbox cannot make the revenue, by 2027, Microsoft will leave the gaming business. Oh, They're gonna pull out from the gaming business. That means like Xbox is gonna be gone, the Game Pass is gonna be gone. That's what Phil said. Although I don't believe it, I feel like that he was just uh, bluffing. But right now I'm willing to believe it because I feel like that this is a strategy he's going after. He's like, okay, so by 2027, we need to up the profits, okay? We gotta come out with a strategy that makes sense for us. And I truly think that Microsoft is going in the route of becoming a publisher, just like how Activision is a publisher, right? They own like Infinity Targ, Treyarch, Sledgehammer, my balls, like these are the Call of Duty studios. They also have other studios that make mobile games, Call of Duty mobile uh, games like Candy Crush that your mama plays. Oh, yeah, you didn't know, yeah! Ask your mama, man, she probably plays Candy Crush. And guess what, Candy Crush is made by Activision. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, you didn't know, oh right? I mean, not many people know. Microsoft is gonna become a full-blown publisher. And at the end of the day, though, I think they better make so much money. They better make, like, more money than God. They already are making more money than God. They became a $3 trillion company and started firing every dev out there. That fiasco happened, and now this is going on. I think this is uh, gonna be really good for them in terms of profits, but obviously you wouldn't need to buy Xbox if they go in this direction. This Corden seems to be the most, well, honestly, put off by this. He is a huge Xbox writer. I really respect Jez, but obviously he's Team Microsoft. He writes for Windows Central. He's a guy who not only has made a lot of famous leaks, but he's the guy who talks about tactics. What exactly mm. is Microsoft's Xbox strategy at this point? Alienate, a <laughs> this is such a dramatic point by point here. Alienate fans by making them worry about the future health of their platform and their purchased games. Damn. Create a meme. Yeah, okay, number one, I think he's talking about like, you will own nothing and be happy. You probably heard that, right? Like all of the digital future, the digital games only. Uh, yeah, because, uh, yeah, that, I mean, Young, I made like 10, 20 videos on that, and rightfully so. That's a big concern for everybody, because you buy something today, and you think about it, right? Like, you think that you own it, and think about it, right? Like, yeah, you own it for a limited time. It's like you're buying a subscription, even when you make a purchase, when you pay full price to make a purchase you're not necessarily buying and owning you're just uh, having the license for a limited time it's like a time bomb right like you have it today but it can explode tomorrow because they can shut the servers down at any minute so that happened and right now they're doing this as well i i, I understand like where the, the the xbox fans are coming from and it's not looking good for them but i think it's good for microsoft that xbox has no exclusive games pushing wider audience away be confused yeah. about why everyone thinks this is a bad idea pivot when it's too late 
this does seem to be the Xbox strategy, which is just throw it out there and hope it becomes cash down the road. Microsoft has been spending hundreds of billions of dollars yeah. on acquisitions. Buying yeah, that, that, that part, like, I mean, like, why buy Activision, bro? Like, why blow your money? And why fire those devs? It's like, Phil, Phil Spencer, all the criticism that I'm not here to defend, Phil, all the criticism I'm seeing is genuine right now. Because a lot of people are like, yo, Phil, bro, like, what? What about, where are the games, bro? Where are the games? You always say next year, next year, next year, next year, next year. Stay patient. Yeah, I get it, right? And a lot of the blind Xbox fanboys constantly defend him. And I'm here to say the same for Jim Ryan. Bro, like, these suckers don't care about you, right? PlayStation don't care about you. Xbox don't care about you, okay? None of these corporations care about you. And it goes for all the corporations in the world. I mean, shocker, right? And people that defend, I mean, like, damn, bro. Like, he has been saying next year, next year, next year. Okay, that's, like, one thing, right? Then he says that we're gonna buy Activision and we're gonna do good for the devs. Acquires Activision, fires 1900 devs. <laughs> <laughs> he fires all the devs, whether those were good devs or bad devs, that's like a different topic altogether, right? But he himself said that we're gonna make a good environment for the devs and nobody would have to worry about it. Guess what? 1900 devs fired and the devs that are still working, they're worrying right now. They're like, maybe I'll get fired next day, so let me not work that hard. Let me start looking for another, another job, right? So it's like all over the place. Xbox is literally all over the place. Activision Blizzard, buying obviously Bethesda, getting Doom, you know, they have made a bunch of check writing bonus points. They've gotten a lot of people in their cabal that are extremely skilled, extremely tenured, and definitely know what it takes to make a great game. But uh -huh. if those games aren't coming only to Xbox, what does that mean for Xbox? Is that actually going to get people excited? Here's something I said about 10 years ago that I feel like is still extremely true. There are two parts to gaming. There's playing the game and there's being excited for the game to come out. There's and number three, console warring. <laughs> There's Dang trailers, it, there's hype, there's previews, there's wearing shirts, there's that, you know, that constant hype for something you're about to be playing next. Okay. PlayStation has mastered that. They have gotten people excited for Spider-Man before there's a demo. I think I Nintendo's agree. done this I as well. This I think there was a yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, 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 yeah. Freaking logo saying the sequel to the Breath of the Wild, and people were excited for Tears of the Kingdom before Tears of the Kingdom even had an actual name. When's the last- The only- the, When was the last time- Yeah, I know what he was gonna say. <laughs> The only game that had a lot of people excited, for, the last game, right, was definitely Starfield. Starfield was the last game, the la last game that they got a lot of people excited about. But we all know how Starfield turned out, which and it's not looking good for them, man. And I think this is the in the only reason why they're looking to put their games on PlayStation right now because suckers don't care. Last time you saw people going just completely ballistic for an Xbox game. Starfield, but think about that. I'm not even trying to bag up Star Starfield, but that's about it, guys. There is a whole lot of drama going around right now in the scene click on this video on the screen because this circuit just exposed everything okay check it out and i'll see you right there